Welcome to a recap of today's open source live code hangout. Today we've been working on the Civi Wiki project. If you'd like to check out the source code or get involved with Civi Wiki, you can stop by github.com slash CiviWiki and check out the open Civi Wiki project. We accept and encourage contributions of all types, not just code. We list here uh, 93 contributors and there's like one bot I think in here. <laughs> um, you can see the various types of contributions people have made. A lot of code, but also finding bugs, coming up with uh, ideas, improving our documentation, helping with project management, this one. Oh, helping improve our infrastructure or continuous integration, helping with financial management or organization, researching, design work, accessibility. There are a lot of ways that you can contribute to this or other open source projects. If you a good first stop on any project, but in particular the CiviWiki project, is to open a discussion or join one of the existing discussions. You can also check out our live chat. Uh, which has just been rebooted. We're using the Matrix Network, which is an open source alternative to Slack or Discourse, Discord, um, which has comparable features and uh, is fully federated or decentralized. We've labeled a number of issues with Help Wanted, mostly code related right now. And we're also participating in the Hacktoberfest. So any contributions during the month of October will be credited towards your Hacktoberfest participation. Today, I've been continuing with a rather large pull request I've been working on. We're trying to simplify the project and use end-to-end -end Django full stack. So we want to use all the features of Django, including the templating syntax, rendering, uh, content on the server and sending it to the client. We we'll, we might augment this with some light JavaScript or an AJAX oriented uh, JavaScript framework like HTMX at an, a future point. But right now we're just getting back to the basics and simplifying uh, what used to be a bifurcated code base where we have a client server. The server was uh, rendering mostly data via API endpoints and sending it to a JavaScript single page application client written in backbone JS. It turned out that architecture was a bit complex for this project and in fact I believe led to its long-term uh, decline and inability to uh, essentially uh, thrive or, or grow. So now we're going back to the basics with the hopes that the development process will be simplified so that a small community can grow around this project and maintain it adding new features and improvements. The accounts app is one of our two large apps in this project. And so I'm going through all the code and making changes, uh, which turned out to remove a lot more code than I added. And we've just had the first round of um, peer review. Um, Gorkum Arslan, the, one of the core and lead developers here, has gone through the changes I made and pointed out several uh, room for improvement, a bit of room for improvement, and uh, most of which I've uh, addressed, just directly changing the code. There was a couple that um, uh, will be continuation issues. Once this code is merged, we're going to break down smaller chunks to re-implement or reimagine uh, in a way that they're more tractable rather than doing everything in one huge um, PR. These will each become tasks that the community can hopefully take up using just Django knowledge. There's also some discussion about a feature that landed uh, a while ago, back in April, where users can essentially delete uh, their account without uh, breaking the structure of the overall data uh, relationships in the, the CiviWiki data. We have discussions and other um, 
parts of our data model that are linked to user profiles. And if you delete an account or profile, that would cause um, or potentially orphan content or other surprises. And we discussed this over several years and the feature landed in around April. Um, my pull request happened to touch the code. I think I renamed, I just renamed the uh, this um, text to expunged instead of deleted, but really I didn't, I didn't fundamentally uh, change it. We have to have some value here when we're setting the username. Uh, you can't have an empty username and the username has to be unique. So we need sort of like a prefix here. And Gorkum is kind of raising concern about the general approach and of handling deletion, which may warrant further action, but I believe that discussion should happen outside of this pull request. I'm not here to, uh, right now to change functionality. I happen to uh, remove a couple of features so they can be re-implemented. I'm not going to uh, remove this expungement feature, which, uh, which goes into a little bit more detail. The reason we have this is that we want to balance the privacy um, of individuals who want to remove their personally identifiable information from CiviWiki for whatever reason, while maintaining the integrity of the CiviWiki um, data. And we're in this discussion, we, which happened over a few years, it was originally opened in 2018. <clears throat> We kind of arrived at a similar solution to um, what you can see on Reddit or Hacker News, where <clears throat> you can kind of delete your um, account, but your comments remain visible to preserve the context. Now it turns out the account is linked to much more than comments here in CiviWiki, so we have to be very careful. But this issue has been closed since April 17. Uh, when we received this pull request from Shannon Lau, and I don't want to remove this work but, um, when it's not inherently tied to the kind of backbone epic. This is more of a server side function, and again, I only I think changed this one line. Here in my cleanup. So yeah, we can open a new discussion and continue that. Um, you know, one thing that's worth pointing out here though is when reviewing pull requests, it's important that the reviewer looks at more than the surface detail, which Gorkum is uh, showing here, but their attention to detail. They're thinking not just of like the syntax and the direct changes I'm making, but the broader implications in the project and how it fits in the overall design and direction of the project. So yeah, we definitely, um, we have room for discussion and debate, um, but we have to do it in a way that's sort of, um, well, moving the project forward and uh, in, in, in a relevant context. So I believe that we should open this or continue this in a new discussion to reappraise how we handle the thing. But yeah, again, it's um, really important and Gorkum is doing excellent work in the project overall and showing very great attention to detail when reviewing other people's work. So that's highly valued. But that's essentially it. Hopefully this um, pull request won't need too many more changes. It's already pretty significant and I think it has a few... Um, oh, there's no conflicts. Okay, so we can merge it. We'll continue onward. Okay, well, stay tuned. And if you'd like to get involved with CiviWiki, uh, we'll, we'll be opening some, I'll be describing these in separate issues with actionable scope and uh, hopefully within the uh, month of October, we got a little bit left in Hacktoberfest. This has been another open source live code hangout. Thanks a lot for your time and hope to see you around the stream. Have a great day.